Good morning. It's a privilege to bring you this little devotion this morning. Not long ago, I wrote a couple of little books called Wisdom for Daily Living and More Wisdom for Daily Living. And wisdom, if it's really wisdom, is also practical. On page 8 of my little book, Wisdom for Daily Living, I tell about the situation in the days of Habakkuk. In the days of Habakkuk, there was lack of justice. There was sin everywhere. And God didn't seem to care as far as Habakkuk could tell. And it bothered him because he knew God. He knew God is a good God and God is just and God does care. But he did not understand it. And he prayed to God. But what he didn't know was that God not only wanted to give him answers, but God wanted something from him. God wanted his faith. And the very last verses of Habakkuk, I want to read it to you. It says, Although the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like deer's feet. He will make me walk upon my high places. Although and yet, we can say today, although we're shut-ins, although we cannot travel, although some have lost their jobs, we can make up all the, all those we want to, yet I will rejoice in the Lord my God. He is my strength. That's the lesson that Paul and Silas knew when they were in the prison because they'd been beaten and put into a dungeon and put in stocks. And yet they praised God. And, and you know, they did not praise God because they were in the prison. They, they rejoiced in the Lord. Over in Philippians uh, chapter 4, the Bible says rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing. That is, don't be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And that's my little devotion to you this morning. Let's not go just by our circumstances. We're in the midst of our circumstances. We don't deny them. They are what they are. But I'll tell you, it's not too bad to be shut in with the Lord. If we learn to pray, learn to take His promises, and learn that it does not matter what our present situation is, we can rejoice in the Lord and let His peace set up His guard about our heart and mind. Let us have just a word of prayer and a blessing upon you. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray for every person who hears this little devotion today. May the peace of God that passes all understanding guard their hearts and minds. We ask you, Father, to bless all of our leaders, spiritual leaders, uh, governmental leaders, and everyone in a place of responsibility. May your wisdom and your peace and your leadership and guidance be with them. And that there be peace in the hearts and minds of all of your people as they rejoice in you. And, and take their circumstances to you in prayer and believe that it will be so. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Amen.